Previously on Death Comes to Town. In the event of my death, I officially decree that my wife Marilyn become the new mayor of Shockton. I wonder if we were missed at the funeral. Hmm? You could say that again. I've noticed. Yeah, kind of a morning sickness. On crackers. I'm trying to figure out what happened at the crime scene. Could be you or you. Hey, who's that? Hey, hey. Fat boy. Morning, Mrs. Good mayor. mayor. Oh. Good morning, gentlemen. It's first day as mayor. How do you feel? Positively galvanized. Look at me, it's like I've never been on heels before. <laughs> uh, ma'am, we were uh, sent down to escort you. Oh, you know what, that's very nice, but I think I'm gonna take my own car today. Thanks, though. <sighs> oh, you know, it must have been that cough syrup I had last night. I had a bit of a... <laughs> cough? A cough, yes. Hey, would you be a deer? Why not? Thank you. I guess there was more of a party last night than I thought. There was a party? A few of us. Well, I didn't know I was driving today. What about that special son of yours, Rampop? No, he's at rifle practice. What to do? What to do? Someone started early, eh? Nothing like that first cup of coffee, eh, friend? Mmm. Delicious. Well, let's check our horoscopes and see what it has to say. Oh, this is interesting, Larry. Keep tabs on lost loves. Hmm. Food for thought. Well, that wasn't the breaking news, that's for sure. Have you noticed that she's been sick an awful lot in the morning? Sort of like an almost morning I'm Karina sickness. Gabletuck. I'm here at the bus depot where it seems like all of Shuckton is waiting for the arrival of the big city prosecutor who will try to convict our own homegrown murderer, Krim Hollingsworth. Will it be a big city smackdown? I, oh, and here they are now. <laughs> This little tiny hit town sure does stink. <laughs> Woo! What a shithole! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, a question? Oh, no, no. Call me Big City, because I was educated in the big city. Not like you farm-fed, outhouse-loving rubes. <laughs> Speaking of which, who here has heard of the Internet? Really, that many people? Okay, who here does their own dental work? Oh, oh yeah, right here. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, a question. Yes, the carpet does match the drapes. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. Prosecutor, what people at home want to know is, how do you think this trial is going to play out? Great question. Well, you know what? That defendant, he guilty, he going down. I'm going to take him down and kill him. Yeah, and that lowly public defendant, I would be very, very worried if I was that boy. In fact, if he was here, I would challenge him to a bare-knuckle boxing contest, eh? Yeah, would you folks like that? Oh, where is that lowly fool, eh? Ralph, the doctor will see you now. Public defender Sam Murray, please hold. Don't worry about it, huh? 
Everything will be just fine. Good morning, Mr. Murray. Uh, can you tell me how old Buttonhole is? He's 32 years old. 32 years young? We're not giving up, are we, Mr. Murray? No, God, never. Because <laughs> I have some bad news. As you know, Buttonhole is in a coma. But he's going to get out of it, right? Well, it's a little bit worse than that. Apparently, your cat is in two different comas. Two different comas? Correct. What are we going to do about it? Well, that depends on how much you love your cat. More than my parents. Good. Because the treatments available to a cat this far gone are off the bank emptying, round the clock, invasive, experimental, almost futile variety. Let's do it. Excellent choice, Mr. Murray. We're going to need an imprint of your credit card. Sure, sure. I think quality of life is overrated. Hey, pick one. Hello, Ricky Bobicky. Hi. And how are we doing today? Hey, how come we're not watching TV? Because I kind of sort of have better things to do, okay? Well, you don't have to rip my head off and eat my brains like you were some kind of... Brain-eating monster. I'm sorry, Marnie. I think I'm going crazy. I feel like I've got to get out of here. Really? Huh? Oh, I'll get it. No. I'll get it. I'm getting up off the couch now. Oh. Ricky, you're up. Ricky, on your legs. Ricky, you're moving. Ricky, your legs are moving. Ricky, you're moving towards the door. Ricky, you're up and you're moving. Ricky, hey, hey. Go, Ricky, go. I can't do it. Well, I can get that for you. You've done such good work, Ricky. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Ricky. It's summons for jury duty. Ricky. This is your chance to get out of the house. Come on, Ricky. Let's go. Let's go, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Let's go. We're gonna go. We're going out the door now, Ricky. Yeah, for you, Ricky. This is it. We're going out the door. Let's go, Ricky. I don't think I can do it. Oh, you. That's too bad, Ricky. Well, it asks your reasons if you're unable to serve. I'm obese. It says if you've checked obese. How obese are you? Very obese. It says if you've checked very obese, are you as obese as Ricky? I am Ricky. I'm Ricky. May I? Well, you may. Okay. Do you know, Shape, that there is a certain spot in Litnalak where it hasn't rained in over 30 years? Like, uh... Why are you telling me this dull nonsense? Oh, well, I was just thinking that if I was about to have a child like you and Corinda, I would so totally move to that spot. What? Corinda's pregnant? Oh, you didn't know. Everybody else does. Does she know? I think so. OK, cool. Cool, very cool. Oh, and uh, Shay, if you're looking for a woman that goes like a racehorse and doesn't get pregnant, why don't you try someone older like me and not some kid in her 40s? And FYI, I've been barren for over a decade. Okay, here's your mic. <gasps> oh, great. <gasps> what is going on here? Is there a change in the offing? Leave on! Leave on! Oh. She doesn't look pregnant to me. Oh, I think she does. Huh? Whoops, <laughs> caught me flossing my toes here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Travis Purdy, deputy mayor. Marilyn Bowman, actual mayor. Ah, okay. Well, here's your seat. <laughs> Just warming it up for you. Oh, thank you, Travis. <sighs> oh, so tell me something, Travis. Can, uh, can we speak honestly? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried that. <laughs> well. My husband wasn't a very good mayor. Actually, if you go back and look at the records, you'll see a long list of accomplishments. Travis, 
Yeah, that's a lie. Wow, it's harder than I thought. <laughs> All right, and our Olympic bid, well, that never really stood a chance. Not so, although unconventional, Shuckton was a superb candidate for the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. no, strike two. Damn, I, I can hear it when I'm coming out. Uh... But the fact remains that if Shuckton is going to continue to grow or even survive, we need to bring in some new money. Okay. And I've done some research, and I found there's quite a bit of buzz around nuclear energy. And we've got all these beautiful lakes that we're doing nothing with. I think it would be a shame not to fill them with nuclear waste. Absolutely. I'm getting it, huh? Oh, but I'm a little concerned. I noticed a lot of meetings in my husband's papers with this Green Committee. Honestly, Green Committee, total sham. Really? Yeah. I don't know, because my husband had a lot of meetings with him. It's like almost every Thursday at 10 p.m. over at the Notel Motel. Notel Motel? That's where people go to cheat on their wives. Do they? Oh, yeah. Well, tell you what, why don't I just call up the Green Committee and see if we can't set up a meeting, all right? Hello, Heather Weather here. Oh, so I must have misdialed. This is Mayor Bowman calling. Mayor Bowman is dead. No, Mayor Marilyn Bowman. <gasps> There's a storm coming. Madam Mayor. Dusty. You look sensational. Grief suits you. No, it's power. Well, I knew it was one thing or the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose you've heard about my husband and... Heather Weather. Yes, I have. And why her? Such a big-nosed cow, hmm? Such a sad, mannish, banana-nosed cow. A hideous cow with thick calves and a rotund head. <laughs> oh, Dusty. <laughs> oh, you know how to cheer a girl up. Uh, it's a gift. <laughs> Let's make ourselves comfortable. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh. <laughs> Marilyn, how did he do this to us? Us? Us. Mm. Shuckton, the town. You see, Shuckton, the town. It's just, I lose control when I think of her. Yes. <clears throat> you know, I think she may have even murdered Larry. What? Mm hmm. Because he refused to leave me for her. You mean some sort of a crime of passion? Yes. Well, passion is what drives us all. I myself could imagine killing for the man I loved. Hmm? If I was some sort of a crazy chick. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> 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 <It's>... <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Murray, your lawyer. Greetings, Sam. I'm Crimson Hollingsworth of the Ojibwe Nation. Oh, uh, are you native? A large fraction, yes. Excellent. Anyway, I just thought is. Oh, very nice. So, Sam, what's the plan? Plan? Mm-hmm. Oh, already? Mm-hmm. Well, first I have to think of a plan. Mm-hmm. Starting with the need to have a plan. Yeah. That done, we move on to B, plan creation. Now, creating the plan is where the work really begins. Oh, sounds good. Let's do it to it. Okay. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. this could be important. Excuse oh. me for a second. Hey, Sam, is that a break in the case? No, 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 no. No, this is the pet hospital. Uh, they need another credit card. Apparently my sick cat has to be hooked up to a very expensive blood rotating machine. Oh. Hmm. Sam, how many murder cases have you fought? Well, mostly I coach volleyball. Have you filed your Redondo writ yet? No. Not as such. Well, when you do, make sure that you make reference to the 1975 case of Crow versus Bear. It's a landmark decision. Oh, that's good. Could you repeat that, but slower this time? Sam, I'm beginning to worry about you. Look, I promise you, I'm going to give you 110%. Oh, boy. You know what we need to do? I think that we need to do a smudging ceremony. Is that real smudge? Mm-hmm. Good smudge.
Look, I just wanted to say good luck and may the best lawyer win. <laughs> best lawyer win. Good morning. Before we start, I have an announcement to make. I may not be at my best during this trial because someone has stolen my first string gavel. Ooh. So I will be presiding using my second string gavel. I'm not making any promises, okay? All right, let's select a jury. I robbed her. Denied! I robbed him too. Also denied! I plowed her and she robbed me, but it was worth it, eh? Denied! denied. Good morning, sir. I understand that you sell tractor parts around Shepton. Well, to be specific, not just Shuckton. Uh, I've been known to handle uh, Gimbal, Worshuck, Sturdy Corners, and uh, Blind Valley. What a town. Met the wife in Spoonie. I also handle Rendeer, Devil's Knee, Cariola, Sleep, Goring Grove, Colonet, Respite, Litmanac, Gilsell, Tewitt, Sally Ho, Shanton, Propping Way, New Asprey, Bactane, Herdell, Louise, and uh, Humbub. Now, here's where I won't sell tractor parts. Denied! Look, you smug bastard, you're accepted. Sir, I saw you drinking from a puddle. Previously, you are denied. Miss, do you have any hobbies? My favorite game to play is races, bingo. Under the inn. Denied. denied. <laughs> Sir, you are accepted. Oh, come on. Is that the best you can do? You gonna take that jerk? Look at him, he's a liar. Look at his eyes, they're shifty. <laughs> so you thought that was appropriate courtware, ma'am? Denied. So, oh, ma'am, what are you? I'm a chicken lady. I was born in a barn, so I'll be really good at this trial, eh? Oh, but you can't show me too much evidence because violence makes me horny. Accepted. No, no, denied. I meant denied. It's last call. She'll do. Right. That's our jury. Let us begin the hunt for justice. First thing in the morning. Superb reason. <laughs> so you girls are plus plus size models. God, you're cute enough to be plus size models. Oh, oh that is so sweet. <laughs> Do you mind? I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope your toes are nice and salty. So instead of a condom, you used a shower cap? Yeah. Isn't that what they're used for? Like, who uses a shower cap to shower cap? Come on, Corinda, use your hand. I'm sorry. So stupid. You're right. That's totally reasonable. It's just that now we have to figure out what are we going to do about this B-A-B-Y? Look, I really want to have a baby. You do? Yeah. But even more than that, I don't want to have a baby. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you sure you're I'm, sure? I'm really sure, I'm sure. Are you sure you're sure you're sure? I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, pick any word. How would you sure. describe how you... You'd be sure? I'm sure. I don't think you're sure. I'm sure. I don't think so. I think you need to see me dance sexy. No, I don't think I need that. Oh, yeah. What do you think you're doing, Heather? I'm exercising. Oh. First you try and take my job, and now you're trying to take my boyfriend? Oh. I don't think so. It's on. Come on. Yeah, come on. It's 
Heather Weather, we're here to arrest you for murder. Marilyn Bowman, if you have an accusation to make, then just make it. I just made it. I, I'm accusing you of murdering my husband for refusing to leave me for you. Hmm. Officers, arrest that woman. What are you doing? Go, Heather. Troy? Marcel? What is this, some sort of a kinky game? We played that game. Fat prick. Tell you what, once she's died, okay, and save me the time. Said it all the time. Why don't you just die? Or come on now, because I'm right here, Ricky. I'm right here. Come on. Hmm? Hang on. I just got to drain the snake. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm not gonna put that in my mouth. Get the message, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs>